Hello and welcome back to the channel and another music video reaction. So this is going to be the third and final Pristine video with their fifth and sixth song before they disbanded in 2019. But for this one, they released like five songs in 2017. This one was released on YouTube on September 24th, 2017. And then their next song is a Pristine 5 video. So five of the members were doing their own thing. So they released that one with, as a subunit. And that one was released in like the summer of 2018. And then they disbanded in the like a month, like a literally pretty much exactly a year after the Pristine Five video came out. Not a lot of songs for this group compared to how how active they were because their last like pretty much their last two two years didn't even have the full members. This one is Aloha Present Version, which is a choreography video. So like I said before, it was choreography dance practice you know whatever that is as long as it's kind of like music video style i'll react to it for the songs group so i'm interested in seeing to reacting to this one right now pristine so far is not bad doing bad for me like nothing's below a seven like it's all pretty decent so i'm interested to see how they rank up com compared to some of my other groups and especially since they disbanded pretty much immediately because they were only technically act for like eight months because Pristine 5 only had five of the members, like I said, and then after that, they disbanded in 2019, so they had nothing for, like, a year straight after that. So the main 10 were only active for, like, eight months or so, which is pretty crazy. But anyways, I'm going to get started with Aloha. I'm interested to in seeing how this music video is, so let's just get into it. Okay, cutesy style, kind of. Interesting, okay. I love their outfits. That was a pretty smooth transition, nice. I like the synchronization as well as on the choreography. Probably not as good as Black Widow for synchronization style, but it's definitely a fun one. Like, Black Widow is more powerful, so like the more cutesy stuff is just kind of, you can obviously tell the difference. Oh, I like that kind of soft movements right there. It's definitely a very soft song though. It's not really my style of song, honestly. I think this is gonna be our first song in a while under a seven. I just I like this chorus and the singing part though. Like it's really nice. And that was Pristine's Aloha. Wasn't a bad song by any means. I like the choreography. I love their outfits right here. They all look adorable. Vocals are nice as well. It just doesn't really do it for me, honestly, as like a song. Like, I don't think it's going on the playlist. I think it's going to be our first song under 7 out of 10 in a while. And I think I'm just going to get it out of the way. I'm going to rate this song a 6.7. It wasn't my favorite song, but it's definitely a good song. Like, I recognize that it's good, which is why. But I don't think it's good enough to actually hit, like, as a 7. So it's more like a D plus, really. Because I like the chorus, and I like the overall beat of the song. It's just kind of soft and strange and some I, I keep calling it strange but this doesn't really hit the chords that I like in the k-pop songs and not as good as some of the other pristine songs I've listened to but it wasn't bad so I think that's gonna do it for this one 6.7 out of 10 and next will be the pristine 5 music video which so five of these members are gone so Kyla is one of them because she had like a concussion, so he went, she went back to the U.S. I don't know if she's a U.S. member. Then like the two Chinese members, like Kuling and Zion, I think leave as well. And then there's three others that leave, but we only have five members the summer of 2018, and they disband right after that. So I'll see you in a few seconds for the Pristine 5 music video, and that will be the end of Pristine after that, unfortunately. All right, and here we go, the final song for Pristine and the first ever song for Pristine V their subunit so they released five songs in 2017 like i said and then they released this song in may of 2018 because all those these five members run hiatus and then after that um, they disbanded in may of 2019 so after this song they were on hiatus for a year before they left and then at the end they disbanded because three out of the ten members seven members left the group it slash company so kind of unfortunate but it is what it is and they're all doing their own thing pretty much um and they're all famous in different fields and things like that but i'm excited to get to this one apparently Pris this pristine veen song get it 
is one of the one of everybody's favorite pristine songs so i'm interested to see what it's all about and right now we woo is my highest rated pristine song at an 8 out of 10 it's honestly pristine's not too high high for me but it's definitely strikes the chord where the most of the songs are pretty good so I'm interested to see where I will rate this one. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. And then at the end, I will do my average rating for where Pristine ranks with me for, compared to other groups. They look, their visuals are amazing. It looks like they want more like a Girl Crush vibe for this, for Pristine V. I guess the two Chinese members didn't leave. I really love the visuals on this one though. They look amazing. Super pretty, man. Ooh. That was a nice beat drop style thing. Oh, I love that. The camera motions was ever when they dropped down. Nice. Her, Nyong's visuals in this song especially are really great. I love the rest of them too. They just all look great, man. And the vocals are really nice as well. Just it really suits the song and the concept. It's going like Girl Crush style for this one. All right, and that was Pristine V's Get It. I really, really love overall the Girl Crush concept that they went for this one. Outfits are really amazing. They all look adore like beautiful and really like Girl Crush style, like powerful. Choreography was really nice, really suited well with the song, synchronization, and everything like that. Vocals were really well done. Music video sets and everything like that really matched well with the overall group setting and everything like that. Just overall a pretty nice music video. I don't think it's going on the playlist, honestly, because I don't really think that it vibed with me, but I definitely did really enjoy the song and the choreography. So for me, I think it's going to be my second favorite Pristine song at a 7.8. So for, honestly, I don't think it's as good as Wee Woo, but I really did love it with like the chorus and everything like that. Just so addictive and so nice and just really matched well with the song. And the voices are a lot cleaner and stuff like that, you know. Choreography was great, you know. So definitely a good music video for me. And I think that's going to do it for Pristin. So unfortunately, they did disband a year after this in 2019. They're all doing their own things, though. Seven of the members left the company pretty much immediately right then and there. So I don't know how many are still left in, the, in Platus, but I know there's not much compared to wherever they started. So with that out of the way, let me now average out the group to see where they currently rank compared to my favorite girl groups current right now. Um, I'm I am guessing at least probably in the bottom 10, honestly. Top like eight or so are all about like 8.4 out of 10. I think they're definitely going to be in the sevens, but not a bad group by any means. I did enjoy it and Definitely a powerful visually group, which I really liked. And I might look at some of their variety shows and stuff appearances just to see what else. And as we go on, IOI has a decent amount of songs, so I'm gonna, definitely going to react to them as well. So you'll see some other members from other girl groups here and there in that group. A lot of groups from like Gen 3 that debuted in like 20... 20, like 17 to 20, um, like 19 are all were pretty much all in IOI, at least one member. So, like Google Dan, Pristine, WikiMiki, stuff like that. So, I'm excited to see those groups as we get down the line. I'm best, like I said in the beginning, I labeled groups by their by how many songs they have, and whoever disbanded first, I do those first, and then I just go down the line after that. So the next three groups all have at least five songs and they're all active right now. So it's like Stacy, Purple Kiss, and another group. I can't remember which, but that's going to sprinkle in basically just so I can get through other groups because planning on finishing up with Super Junior Girls Generation and twice soon. So I wanted to start doing newer groups that I've only listened to like one or two songs for I've run, or I've never listened to before just to make it more fun for me and to broaden my horizons. But for now, this has been Priston and it's time to average out the scores. So since the group had more than five songs, that puts them in my actual K-pop group. So any song that's less than, any group that has less than five songs, I put them in a separate list. 
But but the main groups that I reacted to, like groups with like IZ1 and stuff like that, if they have more than five songs, then they're going to be in the main section. So for Pristin, they had a 44.4 total rating across six songs because it comes with an average score of 7.4. So they're good for me. Not my favorite, but they're definitely good. And right now that puts them in second to last place, unfortunately, above Pixie, but under Nizui and my girl groups. And right now I have like 15 on the list. So not too bad, not too good. I still have a bunch, bunch more girl group and just groups in general to react to. So that might change around as we go. But for now, Wee Woo is definitely going on the playlist. All the other songs I enjoyed listening to, but I don't think they're, for me personally, playlist material, as in there's certain vibes or certain things that's going to really match up and align with me. But Wee Woo, I really did enjoy listening to and I really love. I think that's going to be it for Pristin. Um, sad that they disbanded. I would have been interested in seeing another comeback from them. But they're all doing their own thing. And they're all just living their best lives. So thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next music video reaction. Have a great day. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to support me, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content from me. And also leave a comment down below on what you think I should react to next. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so and you'll get early access to videos. There will also be polls so you can vote on what you think I should react to next. And also, if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it, I'll take it down off of YouTube. And I'll put it on Patreon and I'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one I have currently. So time to stand. So just look it up and you can see all the videos over there. So right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a two gig um, maximum. So it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts. But I made a playlist with it, and so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.